I tied my husband to the bed so that he wouldn't cheat on me. Convinced that he wouldn't go anywhere that night, I fell asleep. But in the morning, Chris' body was covered in kisses. Just like every other time, he pretended to be innocent. Hmm? Cool prank. I wanna hug you. Will you set me free? No! You did it in the dead of night, so you can do it now as well. I left Chris in bed and went to my mom for advice. However, her experience didn't give me any hope. I was cheated on by your father and other men. If the womanizer wants someone else, nothing will stop them. My mom believed that the only solution was to strongly control my husband. I was determined to fight for my marriage. So I changed all the locks in the house and installed an alarm system. I'll hold on to the keys until you, my dear, stop sewing your roads. Chris kept joking around, <laughs> acting like he was a saint. Well? If you are so into cheating games, then I'll play along. I believe that not everything was lost in our relationship. After all, when my husband hugged me before going to sleep, I swooned just like I used to when we started dating. The following morning, I woke up to the sound of a woman moaning. I followed the sound, but it quickly disappeared. You are so naive, sweetie. You thought Chris was just seeing someone else, when in reality, he'd been philandering right in front of you. <gasps> the last free room in the house was recently occupied by my mother. So the only place Chris and his mistress could hide was the bathroom. Lily? Why are you here? Why is your mother with you? I looked for that woman everywhere. Behind the curtain. In the dirty laundry basket. Even the washing machine. But to no avail. Do you think I'm cheating on you with a circus performer? Or perhaps a dwarf? I told him it was useless to make up stupid excuses. Because my mom and I clearly heard him being unfaithful. Yet Chris had a logical explanation for it. You heard the cats. Their mating period has begun. Well, for some people, that period lasts all year round. Chris crossed the line. He made a fool out of me for far too long. Therefore, I was forced to do something extreme. That same evening, I gave my husband a strong sleeping pill. It worked instantly, and for the first time in a while, I peacefully fell asleep knowing that Chris wouldn't go anywhere. Finally, you will be by my side all night, my dear. But what I saw the next day left me stunned. You've got to be kidding me! Chris' shoulders had fresh fingernail scratches, and his neck was decorated with a provocative stocking. Meanwhile, he continued to mercilessly tease me. I don't know how to handle that deceit. Not only that, I couldn't get any advice from my mom. She reminded me once again that I was to blame for my own mistakes. Don't act so surprised that he chose some lustful girl who wears vulgar laundry over you. Ironically, just a few weeks prior, my mom insisted on giving me a catalog of that lingerie brand. Hmm. I 
I checked her closet and found a stocking there. Exactly like the one Chris had on his neck. Just one. So that's who the lustful girl is. The one he chose over me. I realized that I only started noticing Chris's infidelity when my mom moved in with us after the divorce. I decided that those two wouldn't fool me any longer. Sweetie, why aren't you in your room? Go back to your philanderer before he disappears. I went back to my bedroom after drinking a whole pot of strong coffee. That night, I was determined not to close my eyes until I caught them red-handed. Several hours passed and nothing happened. I was awakened by the loud sound of a kiss. Upon opening my eyes, I saw my hmm? mom giving Chris Higgins <gasps> while he was sleeping. However, there was no other act after that. She just abruptly left. That's it? Why did you stop? Did you notice I wasn't sleeping? In response, my mother just laughed out loud. <laughs> if you don't believe me, listen to this. She pressed play. And there it was. The sound I heard the day before. As it turned out, she recorded herself moaning and played it as soon as she saw Chris step into the shower. I didn't understand why my mom was ruining my marriage. I didn't want to ruin anything. I was just sharing my wisdom. If you don't control your husband, you'll have problems. I reached my limits and kicked her out of the house. <gasps> After that, my relationship with Chris started to improve. The next time I saw my mom was when she came to thank me for our communication break. Once she stopped fixing my relationship, she was able to find a man she trusted and focused on her own. He works at the beauty pageant organizing comedy. And you know what? I can easily let him go to work, even though there's lots of beauties there. <laughs> a marriage is strengthened by trust and faithfulness, but it can be ruined by their absence.